Good morning, folks. Well, now then, what's happened here? I've come to the wrong place. I thought I was going to Bodden Point, but I must have missed a turn off, so I've ended up here at um, Lunan Bay. So, it's just started to rain as well, would you believe it? But anyway, we'll go for a little explore of Lunan Bay, maybe hit Bodden Point on the way home. The start of the day that was, eh? Excellent. Well, I've come down onto the shores of uh, Lunan Bay and obviously the Germans are here. Somebody's left their towel. <laughs> Just going to walk down to the shoreline and have a quick, quick look at the tides coming in. Stables down at uh, Lunan, so it says 1856. There you go. Right, folks, well, I've moved on a little bit from, uh, from Lunan now. I've just come to Bodden Point, which is, I've got to say, it's got to be one of my favourite places on the East Coast. Uh, there's loads to see here. Um, I've been here before. And, oh God, there's a dog barking already. And uh, done a couple of spizzes here, but it's just nice to, to come here. I thought I'd come here just uh, on my last day off my holiday before I go back to work. So just have a little footer around here, see what we can find. Now on my Facebook page, I, I mistakenly said I was going to go looking for some gemstones at the Blue Bay. It's actually called the Blue Hole, I believe. So not much difference there. Well, a few flies around here today. Right, anyway, we'll just go for a little walk around the coast and see what we can find on these flies, honestly. Now the tide's well in here at Bodden. As you can see, there's lots of swallows or swifts wherever they are behind me and uh, now since i was here last there has been a lot of erosion now, there is unfortunately a lot of erosion here with these uh, quite delicate sandstones so every time you come down here you see more rocks uh, crumbling away the coastline gets different every time just over there is a, a lot different since i was here last time so you really do have to be a wee bit careful when you're down here but it's just such a lovely place fantastic so as I said, unfortunately the tide's in, so I'm not getting much guddling around on the rocks today, but uh, it's still nice to be here. And this is the old uh, slipway where the boats used to go down. I was just down there. And there's the rest of Bodden Point. That's Lunan Bay just coming into view, just where I was over there. And there we go around, and here we have these... Uh, these boats have been here for ages. They're getting worse as well, look. <laughs> Maybe just see a name on that one. Oh, I don't know whether it's something Montrose, but... There you go then. There. Oh, you're away. Now there's the lime kiln. There it is. We're going to look at that next. Don't they know who I am? We're going in there. So there is the uh, the lime kiln. And I'm going to go in there. Mind every time I come here, there seems to be something different that you see. There's a tunnel. Look. Do you think I should go for it? It's a bit messy, mind you. I don't know. What do you think? 
I'm going to maybe go for it. Hang on. Well, I've decided not to go for it because I'll just end up completely messy. Right, here we are on top of the lime kiln. And... There's the big hole on the top. Right, here's the bigger hole. Oh! Seems to have some sort of feathered friend down there. Maybe nesting. Maybe think it's a ducot. Right, so here I am on top of the lime kiln, as you can see. Excellent place to be. Love just coming here, just chilling out. As you can see, it's just one of these places where every time you come, there's always something different to see. Fantastic. I love this place. It really is one of my favorites. One of my favorite places to be. Just come here, especially in the sunshine, you just lie down and forget all your worries. Uh, it's a great, great place. Now I'm going to be heading up now to the old graveyard up there somewhere where there's an interesting grave which I'm going to show you. Folks, here's a quick uh, nature kind of part of the space. Now, have you ever come across this stuff here, right? That is called hogweed. On uh, no account do you touch that. I had the misfortune uh, to do that up at Carmelia, I fell into it and I've uh, still got scars on my knuckles from falling into it, I burnt on my leg and everything, it was horrific. Uh, so hogweed, if you ever come across that kind of, that white top flower, just do not touch it, please. Thank you. <laughs> That's my warning for the day. Right, so here's Thank a close-up of hogweed. This is just a young, young version of hogweed. You get giant hogweed and all sorts of hogweed, but uh, if you get a close-up you can see there's little needles on there. Those are the things that do the damage to you. They get into your skin, inject poison into you and all sorts of horrible things. So do not do, do not touch hogweed. I'm now walking along the cliff tops. Going to be going to the grave of George Ramsay. There's that dog again. And a big blue van's just pulled up with some people in it. Thought I was going to get the whole place to myself. Oh goodness me, this is really overgrown. God knows I'm going to get through here. Crikey. God, this is really bad. I don't remember being like this. Good Lord, man. Hang on. Where's my machete? Oh God, there's a bloody jungle in here. Oh, I'm going to have to retreat. Look. Crikey. Good God, man. Right, get out of here. Hang on. We have Spiz Nature Cam. Snail. Oh, I've dropped right, it. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to the grave of George Ramsay today as it's just totally overgrown. It's just a pure hogweed fest, so I don't fancy going up there. So I'm just going to go for a little stroll along the beach, see what I can find. Do a bit of beach combing just on this, this little stretch here. Lovely, nice and warm now. Shades on. Right, well, I've walked all the way along to the end of the uh, the rocky bit as far as I can go. The lime kiln is way over there now. I've come as far as I can go really, so just have to turn back, I think. I found a kind of a, like a stone that was quite interesting. I don't know where this, this blue hole thing is I'm supposed to find, but looks like one of those um, mini eggs. <laughs> found that today, so that's quite interesting, but that's about it. So. I think I better head back now. See what else we can find on the way home. Now this is the kind of walking I like. Over rock pools and rocks. You know, so you can just ramble and there's always loads to see when you're walking around here. Great. Love it. Have to be careful though, but a great place, as I call it, guddling about. 
There's always something to find. The car with petrol, hopefully 1966, there you go, fantastic year.